Alright, boys, come here. Come here. Behave. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy weekend, and welcome to another video. But yes, guys, welcome to today's vlog. So it's a little bit of a change of background. Para medyo maliwalas yung inyong nakikita. And how are you guys doing? Kamusta kayong lahat? Are you guys in lockdown still? Or I don't know where you're watching this video kung saan lupalup kayo sa planet Earth ngayon. And I hope you're all doing well and safe and healthy. Yun ang mahalaga. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do this quick sit down um, chit chat about the last month of June. So, but I hope you can tune in and you can stay with me and let's go and you know have a quick chat. Kung anong nangyari with me and over the last couple of weeks na hindi ako nakapag-upload ng video. So, that was the very first time that I took a little bit of break. Wearing my jacket. I'm eating the mango. But that's how it looks like. Thai mango to siya. Hindi siya ganun ka-asim. Hindi siya talaga ma-asim. As in, hindi siya super asim. Toyo man si, alamang, numenga. Happy birthday, dudes! It's not supposed to be that lengthy, pero nagkataon lang na ang daming nangyari. I received a phone call from my GP, so they call it GP here in Australia, your doctor, um, that I needed to do an iron infusion. So, sinabi ko, um, does it really need to be infused? Sabi niya, yes, because your iron is not increasing and it's decreasing and it's been like that over the last two years since 2019. And ang problema kasi sa akin is I don't take to care of myself mainly and I can't remember to take my vitamins. So ayun na, nag iron infusion na ako. So we're here. I'm so bad in this thing. But yeah, I'll show you a quick footage of that while I was doing the iron infusion and some photos as well. So there it is. And then that week where I had the iron infusion, part of the effects of it is that magkakaroon ka ng konting sina. That's what they told me. That's what the you know nurse told me there while I was doing the iron infusion. And pero nilagnat ako ng bongga dai, hindi lang sina. It went to 40 degrees Celsius. So super, yun yung pinakamataas na nilagnat ako ever when I moved here. Never ako nagkasakit. And I barely get sick. I'm one of those people na super dalang magkasakit. While I was resting, supposed to be not doing anything, I was watching a lot of BTS stuff and then I got me distracted. But if you have any content suggestions relating to BTS, I'll be happy to do it for you guys. So let me know down below. I love them now. 
So that was the second week when I had my iron infusion. The following week, I decided to go into the bigger city. So this is so funny, guys. Just a backstory. So I've been chatting with my two friends in Sydney that I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna come down for a weekend, long April. And we decided to go into, you know, do some stuff, mag touristy touristy around the city, hopefully, and then mag catch up, kanyan. Pero hindi nang yari, pero ang nang yari kasi super busy namin sa company. Parang na push, and hindi niya hopin ayagan mag leave ng two days. So instead, she said, why don't you just leave earlier? Nang, without me knowing na within that week kasi, nagkaroon ng public holiday dito sa Australia. It was the Queen's birthday. It's not really the Queen's birthday, but they celebrate it. So, Monday nung week na yan, yung public holiday. So, tuloy-tuloy yung mga tao yung have trips or mini vacations somewhere, ganyan. So, ang nangyari nung Monday na yun, parang nagkaroon ng COVID outbreak sa Sydney. And then, nung Friday, napapunta na ako ng Sydney, they already have like six cases of COVID sa community. And that was the new variant. And tumuloy ako. So, your girl went into the bigger city of Sydney and went down there for a good time. It didn't turn out to be as it's supposed to be. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yun yung nangyari. So parang naiba yung plan, which is still okay. Kasi we decided that day, nung dumating ako ng Sydney ng Friday, we decided to just drive right away to Newcastle to have dinner somewhere there in Newcastle. Um, instead of you know, roaming around Sydney and catching Rona and we don't want that to happen. So we just made the, I would say, smart move of just not stepping foot in Sydney and just go straight to Newcastle. And that's what happened. So they picked me up. They were very nice. Hi, Abby. I hope you're watching this video. <laughs> they were very nice to pick me up to Sydney bus terminal. And I literally stepped in that terminal for maybe... <laughs> You know, wala pang 10 minutes and sinundo na nila ako because they were already in the car anyhow. So they picked me up from Newcastle to Sydney CBD and then went drive. we drove back from Sydney CBD to Newcastle and that's like two hours of driving each way. So it's not that easy. So I went there, spent time, um, we catch up and then had some good time. I visited Newcastle, roam around the city. So I'll show you a quick footages of what we did there. I hope you can enjoy it. Everything in Australia is big. Big UGG boots. <laughs> Hi! This si is Abby. This si is Abby. We're <laughs> here in Newcastle. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Mahalia Fuentes.
so after those we decided to go home have spend the entire day um, at home kasi umuulan din nung time na yun that weekend was shit it was just raining and it was just crazy weather so parang ayo talaga ng universe na dapat papuntahin ako but i still went and you know <laughs> tigas ng ulo but it's still not a bad time to you know catch up with friends <laughs> After that, we just decided to stay home, nag chill, nag watch ng mga YouTube videos, and then the next day, Sunday, I decided to get home to Canberra. They drive me again back to Sydney terminal again. Thank you so much, Abby, for doing that. You didn't have to do that, but you guys are amazing. You did that for me. Thank you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Chalot. <laughs> Pero yun ang nangyari. When I went back home to Canberra, and then pagdating ko ng Canberra, though, to um, you know declare if you were in Sydney um, over the last fortnight or yung last 14 days so i did that and then i was feeling fine when i got back here parang ubo and i have runny nose because usual the allergy lagi ako yung allergy dito guys i don't know why but yeah um yun i did my covid test five days after getting back from sydney and then it was negative so it's a peace of mind for me because syempre kahit hindi ka naman na exposed knowing that you were there you still have that parang parang anxiety na baka meron ka and you're passing it to someone you don't want to pass it around diba it was last sunday where our chief minister here in canberra also announced to us na mandatory magmas and that's the very first time that na announced dito sa Canberra na magsuot ng mask and it is actually a mandatory requirement. The fines is ridiculous as well kapag nahuli ka na hindi na mask. They said that it could be up to 8,000 but I don't I don't know if that's gonna be that much. Pero super mahal. 8,000 ha? Hello? <laughs> so, make sure that if you are in Canberra, you have mask all the time with you and then wear it and practice social distancing as well. And if you're unwell, the good thing to do, if you are not feeling well, limbawa meron kayong simple runny nose or headache, kasi yun yung pinaka common symptoms with the new variant, no, Rona. Make sure you get tested. Just get tested. Alam ko sa Pilipinas may bayad magpates, but if you can afford it, get tested and you know protect your loved ones from catching it. Because yun, it's it's our duty of care to you know each other. If you're eligible for the vaccination, do it. It's one of the things that you can do for the community. Na ma vaccine ka. If you're pro or you know if you're if you're okay to be vaccinated do it it's the right thing to do um di ko lang alam kung meron kayo mga hesitations about it but do your own research obviously be an informed citizen don't just believe what you see or what you hear from somewhere else but yeah there's so many informations available to us these days like the informations are all available in your fingertips all you have to do is you know go on and get yourself informed about the vaccinations and decide it's the best thing to do for the community if you can get it get it okay ayun so that's basically what happened and that's why it took me time to you know upload a video i hope you can understand but thank you guys for sticking around you've been really amazing you've been very supportive to me you mga mostly na nandito sa channel, I know you have your own little channels and I would encourage you to keep going, to keep posting and you know, take break whenever necessary. Don't be too hard on yourself. You don't have to like keep posting videos when you don't feel like it. We'll burn out kayo. And yeah, I think that's the main takeaway. Whatever it is that you're doing right now, whether you have a day job, a full-time mom or anything, you take it easy. Don't be be kind to yourself basically and you know kung gusto nyong mag break kung gusto nyong pahinga day out if you want to treat yourself do that make yourself happy um that should be your main priority as well like to make yourself happy and to take good care of yourself one more thing guys we've reached 
300 subscribers here in this YouTube channel and I can't thank you guys enough. I don't know where you guys are watching this video but please stay safe, okay? And thank you so much for supporting me in this channel. Thank you for watching my videos every time it gets uploaded. Lalo na yung mga nanonood na hindi mahilig mag-comment. I know there's plenty of you na nanonood and you don't leave a comment but please let me know. I'd love to you know, engage with you down there in the comment section. I do respond to comments from time to time. Um, I may not be able to respond right away but I do reply to comments and I love it. I love hearing your side of stories or your opinions you about you know what I'm sharing on here but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog for the week. And I hope I can still upload consistently. If not, then that's okay. I hope that I was able to inspire you a little bit to, you know, take a break and don't be too hard on yourself, okay? I'll try to catch you guys next week, okay? Catch me guys on this channel every Sunday at 2 or 3 p.m. Um, Australian Eastern Standard Time because I'm based here in Canberra. <laughs> 12 ng tanghali or 1 p.m. sa Manila time. So, yes guys, that's it. And I hope you guys are all going to have a lovely weekend. Take it easy, okay? And be safe, be healthy, and see you guys on the next one. Bye!